what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? All the young girls who want to make life with P-U-S-S-Y. Your P-U-S-S-Y will perish with you in hell. May your P-U-S-S-Y perish in hell. That is the message from a pastor to the congregation about women who sell sex. Right message, wrong venue. These pastors are out of control. Isn't everybody out of control these days, family? If you look across the board at these positions that are supposed to be honorable positions, I mean, I know they're not. I'm saying I know they're, they're all not, but I'm just saying society. Society say they're honorable, so I'm just saying they're supposed to be pastors, doctors, lawyers, teachers, politicians, all of these positions, people supposed to have a certain level of respect for because you know it's honorable. You know, these are people are working in positions that are pillars of society. You know, these institutions are pillars of society, you know, bankers, you know. And there is just no class whatsoever, no discernment whatsoever. People just say anything, do anything. That's the type of world. That's what happens when you accept a society that is cool with giving everybody a trophy. When you accept that type of behavior. When you embrace, don't judge. Only God can judge. All of us judge every single day. Even the people who say don't judge, judge. And we do what we do because we know we're going to be judged. I'll give you a prime example. When people go out and buy a nice car, really fly car, I'm talking about bad car. You buy that car and you can't wait to show it off. You can't wait for somebody to see it and pat you on the back. Good job. You go out and buy that nice outfit. You know, especially you post on, on social media, People get those like, ah, like those shoes, like that dress, like those pants, like that suit. You get your makeup beat the right way, bam. Well, you get your face beat the right way, bam. Ah, I like that. Who did your makeup? You like the compliments. You go out of your way to look good because you know you're going to be judged. If we didn't think we would be judged, most of us wouldn't even calm our hair when we step outside. Because we know it doesn't matter. Nobody's judging us based on that. Most of us probably wouldn't care what we had on our feet. After all, this stuff is expensive. So this is where we are in society, fam, where pastors just outright use the P word in church. A few years ago, I saw a pastor using the H word. Or heard a pastor and was well, heard and saw a pastor using the H word, you know, qu quoting a rap song. These hoes ain't loyal. That's what he said. In church, that's arrogance, family. That's arrogance and that's stupidity. On behalf of the pastor and the congregation for accepting it, not running that fool smooth up out of that. There's no way possible. I could sit up in a church and hear that type of stupidity and be cool with it. This is why I don't go. It's, I don't believe in all of this 
fantasy stuff. I just don't. And you know how some people say, well, you know, you're not supposed to worry about the man, you know. He's just a man, you know. It's, it's about the word. And now, oh, man, you know, too much is given, much is required. And when you have a certain amount, amount of influence or authority, you're, gonna, you're supposed to be held to a higher standard. You know, it's like a cop getting caught robbing a bank. They should throw the book at him, but they don't. Not in this society. They make excuses. Same thing with pastors. Congregation, defend them. Pastor can molest a child in the church, cheat on his wife, rob the church of a million dollars, and they'll defend him. Tooth and nail. This is what we are, fam. It ain't what you say. It's where you say it. Wrong place. Right message. The pastor seemed particularly angry at women. Like somebody did something to him. Like he got simped out. He seemed like one of them dudes that paid for it too. Yeah. He come across me as one of those type of dudes. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. And, you know, let me know what you think about this. Perhaps I'm um, overreacting. I don't think so, though. Beware of wolves and sheep clothing, family. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?